And we just had to keep going back into the switcher and figuring out things. Mm -hmm. Hi, everyone. It's Karen and Alex with Karen's Stamping Place. Hi. I hope you all are having a great afternoon. It is Wednesday, Thursday. Yes. Thursday, March 10th. Right? 2022. Yeah. Wow. Can you believe it? I've oh, got daffodils nice. growing in my garden and tulips coming up. I'm just I so excited. I saw them as I was walking in. I was like, ooh, that's exciting. No, it is so exciting. So, um, it is going to be some fun today. We are going to be playing with the Waves of the Ocean stamp set and die cut. Um, we're not using the designer series paper, but we are using some bling. And if you're interested in this, go ahead and let me know. I'd be more than happy to help you out ordering that. Um, the card is just really cute. Okay, so do you remember last week we did the bubble technique? Well, we had some issues with it. Well, we're not having those issues today, guys. This no, is working. Look at this card. Is that not cute? Look at those bubbles on that card. I just love it. I love how it turned out. It turned out awesome. So, we're going to get started. We're going to have Alex turn you down. And I'm going to grab my watercolor paper. Now, I'm using the full sheet. And I can get a couple cards out of this full sheet. Yes. So Alex is going to turn you down, and you're going to see in front of me, <laughs> those things happen. That was going to be really fun. Technology. <laughs> okay, so in this ramekin, I have Pacific Point mm -hmm. ink, okay, water, and some palm olive. Dish soap. Yeah. yeah. Whatever you have on hand. Whatever you have. In this one, I have the Knight of Navy water, and some more dish soap. I don't know how many um, drops I used in either. I just did a bunch, you know? Yeah. I just take and tip it over and just do a bunch. Mm -hmm. um, and that's Until you how get I, it dark enough. Yeah, absolutely. Until you have a test happy, Yeah. So, I'm going to start blowing some bubbles. Now, this is kind of far away from me because of the camera. So I'm gonna, so I'm gonna start with the Pacific Point, and I'm gonna scoot down here so I can blow bubbles. Now I'm just touching them lightly, and it's okay if the bubbles don't hang on because it is doing what I want. Do you see that? Oh yeah, that's coming out awesome. Right. Mm -hmm. That turned out really good so far. So I'm going to blow. And so this does happen where a group will hang on and it will just leave a big smudge. Don't worry about that. So I'm going to go back over it again. And just pick up a little more blue in areas. Because we want some of that Pacific Point to show. So... Sometimes you have to blow some more bubbles because the ink kind of drips down back in. So you'll also see. Okay. So I'm going to get a little more on there. <laughs> okay. This is fun for like little kids too. Yeah, we haven't done it with Savannah yet, though. I know she... Well, no. She was blowing bubbles. <laughs> she was blowing bubbles earlier today. Yeah, she was having fun. Okay. I'm going to stop with that one. Now, I told you last time also, I have a piece of cardboard. Today, I've got three rags. We've kind of been a little messy, so that happens. Okay, there we go. So, now I'm going to use the Knight of Navy. I'm not quite in the... All right. And you're going to notice some purple undertones, too, with this Night of Navy. Mm -hmm. It's not so dark. Um, like, I, it's not as navy. I could use the Misty Moonlight, but 
the Misty Moonlight wouldn't have those purple undertones. So you just touch it and you look at your bubbles and you see if you like it and then you keep going. Oh, let me scoot some of those off. So I'm just picking up some more. And you can layer and layer. Absolutely, you could do this for hours. <laughs> dry it, you know, with your heat tool and then come back and dry it with your heat tool. But, because we've done this before, I want you to see how this is turning out. It's looking really good. Now, do you think I could do that again? <laughs> There's one, two, three, one, two, and one. It's stacked really well. Yeah. Look at that. <laughs> Do you see that? <laughs> yeah, it's like a little pyramid. Um, probably could never do that again if I tried. I'm going to do just a little bit more, and then um, I have a swap out. Through the power of YouTube, <laughs> there's a swap out. Right? Woo, those are big ones. <laughs> okay. All right, we're just having fun. Okay. You can see a lot more bubbly. See, that last card did not bubble like this. I don't know. It did, but it just, it, it's not it too didn't where we wanted take. It. And like then a, you can always go back over with the light one on this, with the Pacific Point, and try to like get it in here or wherever you feel like you would want more color. Absolutely. Alex knows her stuff. Okay, I'm just going to clean up the ink that's on my table real quick because we don't want that ink getting everywhere. No, and that's just the... <laughs> oh, we used the chamois. Yeah, okay. I just used the chamois. The chamois wet. It's sitting up here. And yeah, I just used the chamois. Mm -hmm. Okay, so this is my swap out. What do you guys think? It turned it's out pretty really bubbly. Mm-hmm. So, what we're going to do is we are going to use this piece. This is in Balmy Blue. This is one of the waves. Let me show you. Here are the pieces, all die cut. You have your two different waves, so you can layer it. You have your two different labels, which are fun. I love yeah, them. Really you have fun. your seagulls you can die cut. You have a cloud, and then you can do this a little bit darker or gray or something and you can put it tone over on the tone top for like texture um then you have this one and you have a pelican that you can stamp right here and you can die cut it it's mm -hmm. really awesome okay so since i already have this one die cut i'm gonna die cut the other one now i wanted to show you something before i start I have adhesive sheets from Stampin' Up, okay? So it comes in a package like this, and you get 12 sheets. So when I- 12 sheets can go far. Oh my gosh, because you only need a little scrap like this. Mm -hmm. So what I'm doing is I already put one piece down, and I'm gonna just peel this off. So it kinda comes in three strips. Mm -hmm. And just line it back up. Yeah, so I'm going to put this one on here. And then I'm going to add this last piece. And this is from the Blue Foils, which is was part of the Waves of the Ocean. That's right. Sweet. Yes. And it's in the Night and Navy because they have like it's silver, gorgeous. Look at Pacific that. Point. No, Coastal Cabana. And Coastal Night Cabana. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Gorgeous. So oh my gosh. Okay, so I've got my mini die cut machine, and I'm going to take this piece of foil. Let's see if I can get that in. And I'm going to put this wave that's going to layer over the top on here. That way, the sticky's on the back. Correct. Yes, yeah, so you want that sticky on the back. Now I'm just going to turn it so I can grab it. And I'm just going to roll it on through. And this mini right now is on sale for 20% off. Yes, $48. Mm -hmm. What a gongo. Okay, and I'm just going to set that back aside. And you have 
have another piece like you can use a punch or another die cut for that and it's still got the adhesive on mm -hmm. it which is wonderful I'm gonna just pop these pieces out and it you know it's going to be a little bit more difficult to pop the pieces out because of the adhesive mm -hmm. but no worries the adhesive is going to make this so um, easy mm -hmm. to then, adhere it if you cut another piece out in the silver you could paper piece these back over Ooh, because that's a good idea come here it has the backing Ooh, what a great idea Alex I okay so I'm just gonna <laughs> push this piece out okay and move the die okay get those pieces out of the way now there's still a couple more pieces that are still attached. Um, part of that is because of the adhesive sheets. Yeah. So we just pull those out of the way. Now the little ones like to hang on. I've noticed when you run it with the. Um, they do. You could take and use if you don't have the adhesive sheets. You could take some liquid glue and your silicone mat and do that, mm -hmm. which is just as much fun to do and easy but let's do this now i'm going to take the adhesive off the back of this and i'm just going to layer these two real quick i'm not going to put it down on my um cardstock yet just going to came off half not the full thing <laughs> oh yeah so has anyone um, watching have you tried this technique we have a poll going to see um, how many have uh, tried it and not tried it let us know in the comments if this would be something you would try so it's coming off in chunks because of how we had it on there let me get my well, take it's your got three pieces right? it does it does and so it's really easy though. It comes off. Oh yeah, that take your pick tool is doing awesome. It is, isn't it? Mm -hmm. And there's the three sections now, gone. Okay, so I'm gonna turn this over. And I'm just going to layer this right on here. So the bottom goes on real easy layers right on down and then we'll just now this piece doesn't have anything to stick to yet and that's okay so we've got that now I'm going to I think I'm going to bring in my cardstock and stamp my um, sentiment so I have Knight of Navy cardstock for the base. I zoomed in a little bit. And I cut it at five and a half by eight and a half, and that gives you a card base. And then I have a piece of balmy blue for the inside, and I'll show you that in a little bit. And then we're using the silver foil to back it. And that silver foil came from the blue uh, foils. Yes. So I wanted to do the sentiment real quick. And we're going to stamp that in Knight of Navy. And we're using the sentiment, you're so totally awesome. And we're just going to go ahead and stamp that. We did die cut this piece earlier. So that is stamped. We also are using the denim 3 8 inch ribbon that we have. And I'm just gonna take a piece. And there are links to everything in the description box below. Okay. And so we're going to adhere this. Now look, I played with both sides. You can do that. I didn't think to tell you this. You can do that. I just picked the side I kind of liked better, which was this side. So we're going to take adhesive 
and we're going to put adhesive on this side so we can add our sentiment. And I might need to play with this in a minute um, to make sure I'm getting it where I want it. But for now, it's on there, okay? And that way I can lay my waves down. And I like doing it this way so that I don't overuse ribbon also. Mm -hmm. Okay. So now we're going to, again, use the take your pick tool to take the adhesive off of the other one, other wave that was in the back. And you can see it, it it's white on the balmy blue. But this is gonna make it so much nicer to lay it down. Mm -hmm. I don't have to get glue on the front of the foil, which sometimes happens when you're using the other trick. It's just gonna look so nice. Okay, I've got a piece hanging on me there. Okay, now I need to do this side. And you can use that with any die. You're basically just turning it into a giant sticker. Exactly. Absolutely, 100%. And I love that because then it just sticks down. You don't have to get all gluey. Mm -hmm. Okay. So what I'm going to do is let this hang over just a little bit. I'm going to slide that totally. Oh, didn't it go on this? Yes, it will. Oh. Nope, there's some. The little okay. Thing on that. So I'm going to make sure and center this down here on the bottom. The other thing I just remembered, we trimmed this off, this piece right here, just to make it more rounded and look more uniform. Mm -hmm. There. Okay, so I'm gonna just line this up. It's a little bit longer than my piece which is okay, my piece of watercolor paper, I cut at four and a fourth by, excuse me, I cut it at three and three quarters by five. Okay, I'm just a little like, ooh, what happened now? <laughs> because my sentiment is covered on this one. Put it on this oh, first. I did, didn't I? Mm -hmm. Okay, guys, I have to redo this because I did do something wrong. Okay, so I'm lifting that ribbon off. I put that ribbon around the silver. Yeah, it just gives you a little bit more room. Yeah, put this into it. I didn't even think about that while I was making it. Okay. There we go. Oops. Okay, let me lay that down. Would seal be the one to use or could you use Tombow on it, on the foil? Or would it? You know what, you can use either, Okay. in my opinion. And I think I used Tombow the first time around and that's why it moved around a little bit easier, but I am happy with this right now. Okay, so this was where we had a little problem. So I'm gonna lift that off and move this down a little bit. Okay, I just want it right on the edge. Yeah. But I want you to still be able to see it. And the, the nice thing is, is we're going to have Knight of Navy behind it. Mm -hmm. So it's going to be okay. Okay, that's going to be perfect. Now, I need to move my ribbon down. <laughs> Cut that really short. Okay. That'll work. 
I'm just going to get some adhesive on the other side. Okay, and then I'll put some adhesive on this side. Okay, that works. Okay, yeah. so now you can see your sentiment as well as everything else. I got a little bitty piece of white sticker paper in here. I'm trying to get out. Doesn't it figure? It just wants to say hi. It does. Okay, so now I'm going to take and just adhere this to the front of my card. And measurements and everything will be on um, the blog post. Yeah. Well, I told you the card base size. So the silver foil size is your normal layer, which is four and a four inches by five and a fourth. And there we have that on there. Still look at me. I can't get that. I'll snip it later. Okay. And then this is three and three quarters by four. All right, so I'm gonna do the inside for you now. What we decided, let's turn this around. What we decided is to take a piece of balmy blue. So, you you know, we sometimes put whisper white on the inside, or basic white on the inside. You don't always have to have white on the inside. Mm. You could do light blue, just like we're doing. This beautiful balmy. As long as it's lighter than this and You can't stock. see, you, no. you wouldn't be able to see anything if you were writing on that. So I'm just inking up my giant wave with balmy blue. We're doing tone on tone. You could use a Versamark pad also too for like a tone on tone look. Oh right? yeah. And then I'm going to take this wave and then it's got a big edge right here and a big edge down the bottom. And I haven't cut that off, so I'm just gonna move it down a ways and shift it over a little bit. And then I'm gonna stamp it. Now this is a big one. These would be nice using your Stamparatus. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. But I'm just doing the wave on here like this with my D-block. And I didn't quite get enough ink on there. And so if I use the Stamparatus, I could go back in. Mm -hmm. But that's a nice light yeah, texture. I think that's cute. And so I'm gonna go ahead and just put it on the inside. And that way we finish the inside of the card as well as And they and it's light enough where you can still write over it. Oh, absolutely. I really like how light it came out. So on the front of the card, we're going to put some embellishments that came with oh, this set. Oh, yeah, we didn't oh. do the birds, did we? Okay, so we die cut these earlier with the sticker on them. So here are the birds. I totally, totally forgot about the birds. And they're thin, too, so the sticker, uh, the adhesive sheet really helps. Very tiny, aren't they? Mm -hmm. Very thin. So, yeah, this is going to help a lot. If we can get it off. <laughs> it doesn't want to come off. That happens sometimes, you know. Mm -hmm. But we will get there. There, I got it. So there's our first one. You can use your take your pick tool or the... Um... The take your pick tool is really awesome to do this with. Mm -hmm. Because um, it has the pointy end. Yeah, and the... Um... Take your, no, the poker. We don't have that anymore. Oh, never mind. She's thinking of the old paper piercing tool. Yeah. Um, they combined it into this take your pick tool. That makes sense. So, ooh. ooh. It went flying. The seagull went flying. <laughs> okay. There's the other seagull. Okay. So now, with the take your pick tool, I'm going to cover this end up. And I'm going to use the other end to pick up my embellishments, which I really, really love. Using the embellishments and using the Take Your Pick tool to pick them up. So we're going to use this one, which is really, really light. Mm -hmm. It's like um, a light... Uh, I 
kind of blue tinge silver. Yeah. And so we're just going to pop these on. And they come with like a large, a medium, and a small. They do. Mm -hmm. And so I used the mediums um, at can, the bottom. Yeah, you can mix and match. Yeah, absolutely. And there we have those. And there is our card for today. Super and cute. I'm so excited. Yes, it did mm -hmm. come out super cute. I'm so excited that our bubble technique looks like a bubble technique Yeah, today. it looks awesome on the phone <laughs> and on the computer. Like, it really So pops. there's that one. And here's this one. And it, the bubbling kind of just makes it look like it's... Um, Ocean spray. Yeah, just spray. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So... I hope you guys enjoyed that. I'm so happy that we were able to do this for you and have it work out. I would just say protect your surface when you do yes. this because you do tend to get it all over the place. Mm -hmm. So thank you guys so much for joining us and we will see you next Thursday. Um, do me a favor, if you like this video, please subscribe and click that notifications bell so that you'll know when we are going live or when we have a new video up. And also, give me a thumbs up if you like it. I sure would appreciate it. Yes. Thank you, guys, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.